Hey, neighbor. All set? Great. Oh, thank you. You look very handsome as well. I'm really glad I went with something a little classier than just jeans. Did you decide what you were in the mood for? Yeah, I could go for that. You know, there's actually a place a couple of blocks away. We could walk if you want. The weather's pretty nice now that it's starting to cool down a bit. <laughs> I, I doubt we'll see that demon Pomeranian, but I appreciate your promise of protection if we do. Well, let's just hope we don't have any leftovers to carry home. Anyway, shall we? <laughs> oh my god. You're right, that would be hysterical. Ah, here we are. Here, let me just uh, get the door for you. You're welcome. No, there's no host. We can just sit. Is over there by the window okay? It'll be a little out of the way so we can talk. Great. Come on. Ah. This place is cool because there's not really any wait staff, so we can order through this screen here and then a food runner brings it when it's ready. Yeah, and if we need anything, we just order on the screen again. Uh, here, you can order first. Done? Cool. And I'll just order this. And... This. Done. And now we wait. Hmm? Oh, yeah, it isn't a problem. I really didn't mind helping out. I know it sounds odd, but I actually had a lot of fun. <laughs> I think that was the most fun I've ever had while moving. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad you had fun, too. I'm excited for you, though I know it's probably daunting moving away from your hometown for a new job. Don't be nervous. You got this. They're going to love you. Yes, really. I mean, what are you most nervous about? Yeah, that makes sense. But mm, think of it this way. They scouted you. They wanted you. They wouldn't have offered you the job if they didn't. Remind yourself of that if you start feeling nervous about your work. They'll teach you what you need to know, and, you know, they're not going to just throw you into the deep end. And hey, if they do, it's a field you're familiar with, and you can ask questions. Exactly. And if it really, really sucks, I'll help you look for another job. Of course. See? I mean, you already know at least one person here. <laughs> Me? Oh, I know some people. Yeah, but it's mostly just been co-workers. I'd call them more acquaintances than friends. I always feel like there's a line you just shouldn't cross with people you work with. Should you be friendly? Of course. Should you hang outside of work? Sure, to some extent, but you can only get so close. I had a close friend here, but he moved out of the country about a year ago with his husband. I miss him, but, you know, we still talk online when we play games and stuff, so it's not too bad. Sounds lonely? Yeah, I guess it does, huh? Oh, the food. Thank you, miss. Wow, that looks amazing. Oh, sure, I would love to try some. Mm. Oh, wow. That's really good. 
never had it before, have you? Ah, in your hometown. I see. Do you miss it already? A little. No, that's not weird at all. I mean, it's to be expected, right? Doesn't matter how long it's been. You told me you grew up there, didn't you? Exactly. You can't spend your whole life in one place and then move somewhere completely new and not feel some sort of homesickness. I'd be more concerned if you didn't. <laughs> no problem. I think you're really easy to talk to, too. And for what it's worth, I'm glad you moved here. Right. You're right. We should eat before it gets cold. <laughs> Oh, uh, do you want to try some of mine? I mean, it's only fair. Yeah, here, take some. Hmm, <laughs> good, right? I always thought it was gross when I was a kid, but I tried it again as an adult a couple of years ago just to shake things up, and I ended up really liking it. <laughs> oh, yeah, a real rebel when I was younger. Nah, not so much anymore. I think the most rebellious I get nowadays is staying up past 12 a.m. <laughs> okay, okay. Stop teasing me and eat your food. <laughs> oh, man, I am stuffed. <laughs> I know. I know I've been saying it the whole walk home, but it's true. I feel like I'm waddling more than walking. Uh, at least we finally reached the elevator. Mm, after you. Hmm? Next time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. We can definitely try going there instead next time. He wants to go out again. Maybe next week? To celebrate your first official week at your new job? Sounds good to me, too. Here we are. After going up and down this thing so many times with your stuff, I think I can tell which floor is ours based on feeling alone. <laughs> I'll walk you to your door. Yeah, I mean, it's on the way to mine, so might as well. Here we are, apartment 810. I had a really good time, too. It was definitely a productive Friday. Not productive like I thought it would be, but productive nonetheless. Oh, right, the blow-up mattress. Here, I'll go run and grab it. I'll be right back. Hmm, I better grab the set of guest pillows too. I saw the bedding in one of the boxes I brought up, so just the mattress, pump, pillows, those hole patches just in case. Okay. Yeah. And there, got it. Let's get this over to him quickly. I'm sure he's tired after everything. I mean, I'm already exhausted and I can shower and go right to bed. He can't. He still has to unpack at least some of his things. The ones he needs for the night, anyway. Oh, it looks like the door is open a little. That was nice. I should still knock, though, to let... Huh? Oh, is he on the phone? I wonder who he's talking to so late. Ah, his mom. I'm sure she's worried. Her kid moving away from home into a brand new city. She must be just as stressed, if not more. <laughs> it's nice to hear him reassuring her. I really shouldn't eavesdrop. Maybe I should go back to my apartment for a bit and... Wait. A 
nice neighbor. They're talking about me. I really shouldn't. But I kind of want to keep listening. It can't hurt too much, right? I mean, the door was left cracked open, so if it was really a private conversation, the door would have been closed and locked, right? Right. Okay. He thinks I'm nice and funny? Sweet. I thought he might have just been humoring me for a bit there. His mom must have asked what I look like. Handsome? He called me handsome. My cheeks are burning. I need to calm down before I... Wait, huh? Oh. Just the neighbor. I'm... Just the neighbor. I thought I'd at least be a friend. Ouch. It's fine. I mean, I am his neighbor. He's just being honest with her. Maybe in time I can become a friend, but he needs time. Hey, neighbor. Sorry to interrupt. Ah, you didn't need to end your call. I was just dropping this off for you. Yeah, it's all there. I figured you didn't have any pillows, so I brought over my guest set. You're welcome. I mean, what are neighbors for, right? Oh, yeah, I'm just tired. You know, long day. You must be tired too, so uh, you should get some rest. Borrow the mattress as long as you need. Yeah, I'll see you around. Good night.